llamas and alpacas, this is Livy, and welcome back to another episode of Alpaca Power. Now, most likely, if you're watching this, I am on my way to Sandusky, Ohio for Colossicon. I cannot wait to go, and I cannot wait to make the vlog. And I also cannot wait to make this video, because we're doing a special Alpaca Power, something that I've never done before, and it deals with Garbage Pail Kids! I've always loved Garbage Pail Kids ever since I was like um, 13, 12, around that age. And I always loved the stickers. And, um, and then when I found out they had these figurines, I was excited. And I thought, I wanted to do something with a pack of power with Garbage Pail Kids. So what I thought to do, and I've seen plenty of artists on YouTube do this, that when they get one of these like mystery boxes or mystery pouches or whatever with little figurines, they will unwrap it on camera and then um, draw it. And kind of like um, that clip I always have in the description below for every Alpaca Power episode where I got the inspiration to draw the alpacas the way I do lately from Mayu. That, that video was she um, opened up a Christmas present and it was the alpaca and she drew it on camera step by step which is kind of like what I'm gonna do with this now I didn't really look at the other ones on the back because I don't want any spoilers and it still has its wrapper on because I have not opened this this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna see it and as soon as I see it I'm gonna draw it and <laughs> I'm just so excited I'm going to draw it as an alpaca whatever garbage pail kid I get and I actually had some fans says I hope you don't get the one that's growing up and I'm like I can't make promises Okay, put the plastic off, and this is proof that I've, I have no idea who's in here, and I'm going to open up the box, as I figure, there's a little bag in here, let's feel it to see, if... hmm, oh, okay, so it's like it may have glasses or What's that on his head? Like maybe a hat? Or <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, but whatever it is, I'm going to make it into an alpaca. And with this nasty nostalgia, which I'm very well known for saying that for my um, Happy Street Friends videos, and now I'm doing it for Garbage Pail Kids. It feels like this character's wearing glasses. Let's see. <laughs> She's kind of cute, and she'll be interesting. Okay, so what she is, is her brain is growing out of her skull. <laughs> this will be very interesting to draw as an alpaca. It's going to take a lot of brainstorming. But, yep, step by step, and if you want to follow along, go ahead. And if you think this will be a little bit more difficult, do not worry. I do have a simpler alpaca drawing tutorial right here. So if you want to go check that out, just go right ahead. I see a lot of you guys have used that to draw for fan packets, and I'm very excited. What else is in the bag? I thought. Oh, it's a test tube! Okay. So I guess I have to put that in my hand, make sure there's nothing else in there. Thank God I felt that. And let's see what her name is Brainy Janie. Okay. So, I will definitely make this into an alpaca. <laughs> She's kind of cute. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. Alright you guys, I'm going to show you step by step how to draw this character, Brainy Janie, as an alpaca. And I am in the wonderful Photoshop because most of you guys ask me what um, program do I draw in? I usually use Photoshop, and I usually draw a picture first, then draw it into Photoshop, like trace it into Photoshop, but this time I'm doing it freehand. But let me tell you, this style of alpaca, I've never done it freehand before, so this is going to be new. But here we go. First off, I'm going to use uh, medium gray to draw what I call the line of action. I'm recording! Don't come in! Sorry about that. I 
promise. And... Anywho, like trying to find a good brush size. Because this is not the final. It's just like what you want the alpaca to look like, so. That's a little bit too small. Sorry, I've never done this. I usually draw a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Especially not for this. It's, um, and I'm gonna draw a little bit of that for the brain. For the alpaca. That's one thing. I've never drawn a brain before. Like, like I'm using this like I would a pencil and then I would ink it. So yeah, that's gonna be the head and then the body. Just... No, I think I might want to zoom in just a little bit. Just to um, get a better viewing of what I'm doing. Also, I do... I don't know what that is, if it's farsighted or nearsighted. I really don't understand what, which one is which, but I have to look very close at paper in order to draw. You know, so that's why sometimes my face is in the camera view when I'm when I'm doing my my speed arts with my camera. There we go. And then for the back. Sure, you draw the little tummy. The one foot. Okay. And let's have an ear go like that since the brain is kind of pushing it down. Almost look like looks like a lamb. And actually I think that could that gray could be a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna change the opacity of it. There we go. And uh I'm looking at it and looking at the clothes. Like, see, she has like a, bla a jumpsuit and a blazer. I'm not gonna draw the pants, but I am gonna draw the blazer and the necklace. And I'm and when it comes to the coloring, I will make her for the fluffy same color as her shirt, which is actually also the same color as her pants. Like, I think I'll do the pearls when I'm coloring because I would be even more simple. that to tell them. And take a look. Looks like it's... Okay. Looks like it's like snap dab. Here. Maybe I can lay her down to see. Like, don't forget, this is not the final, it's just a little bit of sketching before, um... If you're following along, great, and if you have to pause, that's okay, go for it. And if this is too tough for you, then then that's okay, because, I, like I said, I do have another tutorial of alpaca power, of, um, of simpler ways to draw alpacas. So if you want to check that out, go for it. I think I'm going to make these a little bit wider. Try and close on an alpaca is so tough. There we are. And, um, I think we pretty much have the outline that we want, and we'll work on the creases of the brain whenever we're doing the fluff. We're gonna make the creases of the brain like fluff. <laughs> I've never done this before. And actually, I just noticed something that I could fix. For the top 
The brain is never perfectly round up there. So I'm going to um, make it almost look like a little butt. <laughs> almost like a little butt. See? And now we're going to do the outline and actually first we're going to use the bow because that's the outside of everything. Usually, I learned this from Mayu if you want to draw an alpaca with like, you know, a hat or anything, you usually draw that first. But sometimes I do it last, but... See, I'm drawing the bow. I'll draw the little pieces. I usually do the detail when I'm in. I do the entry. Let's get going. Here we are. Hmm. Looks like I may need a smaller brush to make it easier. Now the fluff. Oh, this is looking good. Like, you just draw little curves to make it look fluffy. I actually learned that from Mayu. You'll hear from this that I learned a lot of things from Mayu. I learned a lot of like how to do little basic details in that from her. Like I highly recommend you go checking out her channel because she is an amazing artist. And she has a goal to have 2 million subscribers, and she's pretty close to it, actually. So, if you haven't subscribed to her yet, I highly recommend to go see her if you want to see awesome art. And awesome art challenges. Like, she is... Like, there's a lot of artists, YouTubers out there, but she... Is my favorite because I've always looked forward to her art every week, every Friday, I should say. Kind of like I look forward to doing this every Friday. I'm also looking forward to this Friday because it's a lot of fun. Okay, so we got the head done. We'll do the more. Oh no, we did, and I missed a spot go the opposite way. There we go. And, um... I'm gonna work on her clothes. See, I'm just using basic solid line, because it's not fluff. It's only nine minutes. That's not bad for nine minutes. Well, this video, probably not in this spot, the video is nine minutes, but when I'm recording me drawing this, it's nine minutes. Because I was worried that this video is going to be so long, since I'm not going to speed it up, I'm actually going to show you step by step. But we do need to make the, the feet or hooves, or whatever you call it on an alpaca. I actually don't know for once. <gasps> How dare me! But... Yep. And... Bro. Er... Like, I'll do the necklace last, so don't worry. I'm not forgetting about the necklace. Okay, it looks like we got that all taken care of. Now let's zoom out a little bit and get rid of that. Ta-da! Now, this is one of my favorite parts. Is drawing in the detail. The fluff. I, I draw the fluff on the chest. Almost looks like a cleavage. But it's fluff. Fluff. Oh, 
I don't know how that looks, so I'm gonna do this more. There we are. And usually, ooh, excuse me. Another thing I shouldn't forget is the glasses, which I'm gonna do like I'm doing with the necklace. Excuse me, I did have a pop before I recorded this video, which I really should not. Even though I do it anyway, I'm always thirsty. Okay. We're gonna draw her little face. Look at that. And no, no worries, I'm not forgetting the beaker. I have an idea for the beaker. But I have to remember, like, her face is more down here. So first I'm gonna draw her snout and mouth. Draw her little and I'm gonna draw the beaker in her mouth. Because I think that's how an alpaca should care like who's a scientist or whatever should carry their beakers. And a little before. And I guess I can do that when I'm coloring. There's a lot of things that I save it for coloring. A little face. Draw her and draw her lashes because she's a girl. I color this in, but I'm gonna use a a white speck for her eye later. But I'm gonna draw the block. So first I draw around the eyes, which is basically the same basic as what I did around the whole body. There we are. I'm really proud of how this is turning out because I was a little bit nervous. There we are. And I'm a little bit nervous. The side of her head, the top of her face, almost looks like an eyebrow, but it's not. Now, the part we've been waiting for, the brain. Like, I'm looking at the brain. Um, I've never drawn a brain before, so I'm a little bit nervous. Of we don't want it to. Actually, that's okay. Straight line is kind of okay, because that's how it looks in this right here. And now, let's see what we can do. I've never drawn any guts, sir. You would think, since I love creepy pasta and blood and all that, that I know how to draw guts, but I actually don't. So, I'm just improvising a little bit of how to draw the brain. It's like little curves. I actually don't like how that looks. Like, and again, you don't have to do this in Photoshop, you can do this on paper. There we go, that looks awesome. Now, let's color in her eyes. A little... If a little... Make sure I fuse those layers together, so... There we go. A lot of times I... Ooh. See, it looks like I missed some black spots. Basically around the eye. So I'm gonna fix that a little bit. There we go. But yeah, I usually do that so not everything looks white. And I'm going to work on some 
to have another layer for white, for anything white. Which one thing is definitely perfect. It's hard to see it when it's. Okay, there's that tooth. And how about another layer above to make her necklace? Oh, I just noticed I used uh, the fuzzy. Uh, that's okay. Let's see. Yeah, something like that would work perfectly. That looks. That looks okay. Let's merge all those, so... And her bow is a dark blue. Very pretty shade of dark blue. Okay. It's like that. Like, I try to get the colors as perfect as I can, but they don't have to be. I'm not that picky. And I'm not gonna shade because I'm lazy like that. I'm lazy like that. And um, you know what? I think there should be a blue and a gold in that picture. So, so like there's a blue squishy and a gold in that picture. And to make it look more like a beaker, I'm gonna use a light gray that's almost white and color in the beaker. And I'm gonna use the opacity magic to make it look clear. And we're gonna see what the uh, Yellowish tan or light tan or something like that. Yeah, that would be good. There we are. And I'm I'm gonna go with the pink. The pinks in the ears. Yeah, just so you know, I use both the the drawing tablet and the mouse. Because for certain things, it's better to use the drawing tablet, and over certain things, like like you know, touching up, I use better with the mouse. Here we are. How about her jacket next? Her little jacket. It's like a turquoise. That's too bright. So maybe. Yeah, that'll be good. Like, for coloring, I usually use the, um, the mouse. Ah. Maybe I should use a smaller brush. I'm using a 13. So I can get all those sharp ends. So I don't get an inner fluff. Even if I do get a little bit of inner fluff, it's okay. It's okay. It's not gonna kill her. I'll make that part of the jacket too. It's on her dummy. Hey, 
so far so good. Now let's see. If you're a fan of Garbage Pail Kids like myself, who's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And if you have collected, I should have said it the other way around, but like if you've had collected Garbage Pail, Garbage Pail Kids, or if you still do, and if you have a favorite. All right. Very good. I'm gonna have her face, which I usually have a cream color. There we are. She's really cute. And now the last part. Her fluff. Which I said I'm gonna match it with her pants and her shirt. See her pants and her shirt. And I also need to draw her glasses. So I'll do that. So I'll actually do that last. I'll make it light. I'll make it a light magenta. Like that. That would be cute. I almost forgot about the glasses until I looked at the figurine. Oh, so let me know in the comment section below if even though you probably already said something in my Colossal Con announcement video that if you're going to Colossal Con, if you are, I'll see you either um, today, tomorrow, or Sunday. I'll be there three days. I will not be there Thursday. Well, duh, cuz. You probably already knew that. But yeah, I'm leaving today. This video was made ahead of time. And, um, and it's posted first thing in the morning. But I cannot wait for Colossicon, and if you, and if you're wondering if I'm gonna get more plush alpacas, you bet. And also, I'm thinking about getting some alpaca accessories too, because I remember there's this one stand that was there most of the time, and they always have little alpaca accessories, and they're so cute. And I want to get some. And now, last but not least, the glasses. See the glasses? We're gonna use a kind of like a reddish, ornish brown. Like that. And I'm going to. To make these glasses big. I'm holding this upside down. There you go. 
merge that together and make sure I sign it at the bottom. I'm commentating how I sign it. There we are! There is mine. My garbage pail kid alpaca. Tell me in the comment section below what you think about this. And if you want me to do any more mystery boxes, like not necessarily of garbage bill kids, but of anything, and if you want me to unbox it and draw it into an alpaca, just let me know. I This was a lot of fun. I truly enjoyed it. And I'll hope to see you at Colossal Con or in the next video. See ya!